Now, our first project is to get rid of the bird. Horrible, but what we're going to do is highlight the marquee tool around half of the image. Okay, so as you'll see here, we're trying to find the middle. So, to try to do like mirror effect. So once we add that, we're going to go to Layer, New, Layer V, Copy. And then Edit, Transform, and flip vert horizontal. Flip it horizontal, and then what you're going to do is move it over and snap it to the other side. Okay. Once you have this, go ahead and what we'll do is uh, you'll see that the bird is there, and then you have another layer on top of the bird. Now, what we also want to do is get the guy. Now, from doing this, we are trying to have him be similar so we can show his right and left side of the body. So we're going to do another flip over and have it match up similarly to how we did the previous method. Now if it doesn't snap in together as well as you want, you can also use control and the arrow keys to make it uh, fit better. I move what I just did. I moved the layer above our last one so we can match it up to show the guy so he does not look unproportional. Renaming your layers will also help you a lot with understanding where you're going to do most of your work instead of looking at the minuscule pictures next to each layer name. So like I said, use the arrow keys with control and to find a perfect body for him. And what I did, I flipped him over just to make sure that he looked great. Okay, And I had a nice little completely even person as we do now, except for he does not have a head. And same thing with the arrow keys. Now hold down shift for all four layers, right click and merge the layers together. So now it's all one layer. Now the last problem that we have is the bird. The bird's still in the window. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the cloning tool, which is your stamp up on the left hand side there. And as you can see, what I am doing now is zooming in. We're going to click on the cloning tool with our brush size down. And when we hold down Alt, we will get a crosshairs. Now, you're going to pat over each part of the bird, try to match up. Now, here's the tough part with the windowsill. So, yeah, it's very finicky, but what you're going to try to do is match it up to try to stay in that arrow. So, you can kind of dot, dot, dot it. Now, remember, you are zoomed in to over almost 300%. So now what we need to do is try to find a head. Notice how at 100 you can't really tell. But zooming in on the left hand side, we do have, looks like exactly the same. Okay. Now, as you see, is we have a head. This is just a random head that we've gotten off Google Images. Now what we're going to do, we're going to paste it into our picture. You can use any of your pictures, you know to match it up with yourself if this ever happens to you, which would be very weird. Like I said, rename the layer. First thing, magic wand, click on the white and hit the delete button. That will take the white out. Now select inverse to focus on just the head. And you're going to free transform. Holding down shift while you free transform, as you see right here, will give it a more proportional look for the head. It won't distort the image. 
make it a lot smaller. Obviously it's still too big so we're gonna make it smaller. And same thing, since we cannot match it up perfectly, we are going to use control and the arrow keys to zoom it over. So as you see, having difficulty with just moving it, and now we're going to use control and the arrow keys. Now once you transform you have to apply the transformation, but as you can see we have the head right on top. So what I want to do again is I want to, let me see here, I want to flatten the image. So we have the layer, but also the part that's bothering me is there's the couple twice just slip. So what we're going to do, we're going to blend them out with the cloning tool and make them disappear. Now with the crowd in the background it's easy that you can't really tell which people are doubled up. So like I said once again just do it gently for the lines to try to match them up as best as you can and maybe delete a bird or two, get the pattern in the squares in the background set up very nicely. And just like in the background trying to fix it all together so it looks a little bit differently on the sides so it doesn't look like I completely photoshopped the image. So now you'll see it before. Birds in front ruining the picture and an after.